Hey guys and gals, Mama Bear here with a Daily Dash of Life. I just wanted to give you a quick update on what's going on with the chicks. We've only had the chicks for three days and there have been some new developments. They're starting to get their feathers in. So even though we've had them for three days, they're four days old. And let me try to pick one up so you can see their feathers. Looky there. Feathers coming in. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, I'll put you back. So yeah, that's what's going on with the chicks already. Can't believe it. I didn't realize that they would be getting feathers so quickly, but they are. We've had a lot of cold weather lately, so we went ahead and dropped this light lower so that they can be even warmer. And as you can see, they congregate right underneath it. That's their little warm spot. But we went ahead and went from the three lights being on all the time, 24 seven, to just the one. The bunny doesn't need the light anymore as often. Just when it's super duper cold outside, the chicks need it 24 seven right now while they're still so small. But these lights right here made our electricity bill jump so much. So we wanna make sure we're still saving money so we downsize to just the one 24 seven. Hopefully we can get rid of that soon at the end of February. But that's what we're working with right now. I just wanted to give you that quick little update just so you can know where we're at with the chicks and make sure that you understand that having those lights on all the time is gonna raise your bill. I hope that helps. We're new to this, so learn from our mistakes. We have also decided that the bunny is so big that she doesn't need to be in that hutch at night anymore. We'll just leave her out and about so she can roam. Look how big she's gotten already. We've sexed her since my last video. She is a girl. They're just growing so fast. It's a very foggy morning this morning and there's been some new new developments. The cubs are super excited about what's going on with the chicks. The chicks just made one full week old. There's Twist. So let's go see what they're talking about. I'm so sorry. what what's going on over here? Wow. And then they're really big. If you tilt her back a little bit, she'll want to start fluttering. Wait. See? Mm -hmm. Is that the big one? This is Valentine. Start flying. That's the feathers. Okay, this is how the golden one looks with the feathers coming in. They almost look white. <laughs> but I wonder if this one is the rooster. It looks like it might be the biggest one so far, the biggest golden. Yeah, almost oh. looks like a pigeon. That one's named pigeon. <laughs> is it? Yes. <laughs> oh, I thought. It, I well, gonna... the name fits then. <laughs> and then another name is penguin and vulture. Here, do you need my knife? No, I don't. 
This is why girls should always carry a nail. <laughs> Hear that, ladies? Bye. Oh! Hi, <laughs> Trudy. <laughs> what? Holy! Thank you. <laughs> Don't move. Whoa, he is fast. This is Emmy Smith. This is Emmy Smith. What am I doing here? Charles getting used to his home. Come on, Charles. <laughs> oh, we have a Dalmatian. <laughs> <laughs> Country Dalmatian. Do what he's doing. <laughs> you think he'll feel safer if you honk at him? <laughs> he's trying to copy you. <laughs> Hi, how are you today? Good, thank you. Let's see, I need some baby chick grip. Okay, so as you know, yesterday we bought a new little piglet, a mini pig piglet. And today, this morning, we found yet another dead chicken, or little chick. Keep in mind, we have three dead chicks as of now tomorrow they will make three weeks old the first chick was an accident the chick accidentally fell and got stepped on so that was number one number two was a couple of days ago we just woke up and a chick had passed during the night and then this morning we found one a chick that had passed during the night so we were told that we should try some chick grit this is what the chick grit looks like. We're gonna mix this in with the food, I think. I got this at the feed store. The instructions say, provide mana pro chick grit with probiotics to young birds beginning at two weeks of age. Provide in separate feeder, oh, okay. Protected from the elements, monitor intake of chick grit for the first two days. If consumption is excessive and cause, causes a reduction in feed intake, limit access to chick grit. Chick grit is also suitable for small adult poultry and fowl. Now they have chick grit and then they also have chicken grit for when they get older. So we're gonna give this a, give this a try and see how it goes. Yesterday our little piglet was wigging out a little bit. He didn't like to be alone. I did a little bit of research and turned out the pigs want to be with another pig. They like to be in twos at least. So we went ahead and took our bunny out and let them hang out and he did follow her all over the place and kind of got on her nerves like a baby brother would to a big sister. So now I have their two little kennels together just so that he could feel close to her. I did research and found out that when you first get your piglet, you want them to be in a small little enclosed area until they gain more trust, they feel safer that way. So he did stop freaking out when I did do that. Luckily, we had this little miniature kennel just handy in our storage area. And then I added some hay and he made a huge mess with his water and his feeder. So I went ahead and got him a new water container so this is what the new water container looks like. And it's this color because I added some electrolytes. I explained to the lady that uh, he wasn't really drinking too much, not eating too much. I did research and find out that when you first get them, they don't really wanna eat for the first two to three days. So she said I can entice him with uh, some fruits, veggies, some tomato, lettuce. So that's what we did. We made him a little charcuterie board. So here's the electrolytes that I got him that I put in the water for now and it also has some supplements in it she said 
And then here's the little charcuterie board we made for him. So hopefully that will help entice him to eat. We were also told that if the piglet doesn't want to eat, that we could just toss in a few pieces of bread to a plate and add some milk to it. Or we can add some fake milk. If you don't have milk, you would add this to the pieces of bread. It's a milk replacer. So that's what we did. He didn't want it. So now we're just going a different route and I'm gonna try to give him that today. This is the food that we're using right now. Organic mini pig young and active pellets by Natural's Best or Nature's Best Organic Feeds. I haven't really seen him eat too many of these. The, the children said that they've seen him eat some. We got him these little treats for training just to kind of bribe him to come close to us. Really haven't worked just yet. We got him these big trays, galvanized trays to eat from. He really hasn't eaten from them or drank much from them. But I guess as he gets older, he'll be using them more often. You want something heavy to feed them out of. I didn't have anything available but this that was short enough for his little legs and little snout so he can reach the food. So I'm just using this plant saucer. Okay, I'm gonna let him out, that wild thing. As you can see, this little tiny piglet made all this mess. So let's get this cleaned up and and try to um, figure out how we're going to keep this area cleaner. Yes. He has his water with his electrolytes and this has to be dumped and switched out daily and they don't need electrolytes every day either. He has his charcuterie board and he has his bed. So let's see how he does with that. Hopefully this is heavy enough to where he won't be making a big mess and yeah. So here are the chickens, they're eating fresh water trying to keep that as clear as possible because as they walk they kick the wood chips into the water and food I just put out their grit for them there's another one over there hanging out in their bedding so we'll just see the days are starting to slowly get hotter and hotter right now it's 81 degrees very humid uh, there's actually a lightning storm warning so we got to keep an eye on their water intake so what we have been doing to try to gain trust with churro is i just started out by sitting on the floor and doing like a whole caesar milan thing no touch no talk not no eye contact type of thing and i just 
let her come up to me and even then i didn't touch her i didn't talk to her nothing but they do want to get used to the sound of your voice getting to know the sound of your voice is a good thing for them so what i do in the mornings is i come into the the shed in the pin area i no to no touch no talk no eye contact to the pig but i do my work around her and she starts following me around a little bit so far right now as long as i don't try to reach for her grab her pet her she's fine um she does come up to us she's starting to follow us a little bit but she's still gaining that trust and i hear so from what i hear and from what i've read it'll take a few weeks to a few months to gain trust depending so that's what we're working on right now once she trusts us and enjoys us likes us all of that then we can start training her which i hear you can train them kind of like a dog too so we will be working on that as well and making sure that she's disciplined because if they don't have a buddy or um, i hear they can get a little unruly if they're not disciplined or if um, they don't have a buddy so i'll have to keep you updated on that and how that goes and just in case you're wondering what I mean by disciplined is a simple correction. If they're getting into something that they're not supposed to be into, just kind of like, like tap them. Um, another, again, like a dog whisper style thing. Um, or if they're biting at you, sometimes if they don't have a companion, they'll start treating you like another pig. Uh, they could bite, they could nip. Um, they start shoving you, but the licking is okay the licking is like a form of affection uh doing this with their snout could be a form of affection just depend on depending on how they're doing it but she's been pretty good she was nipping at the bunny when she first met her but now they're starting to buddy up now the update for the for the coop we don't have any just yet but we have been doing some research and looking into different things. She, when we first got her, she tried to run at the gate and sometimes she'll bounce off. Um, one time she did accidentally get through these little holes that are in the gate, these gaps. The last time I was at the tractor supply store, I did come across something that had some little squares. It was, it looked like it was galvanized wire. Papa said that it's not gonna be as strong as this one, but I figured we could use it across this bottom area just to fill in those gaps so that the animals aren't hurting themselves. They can't escape, they can't get through. So at least down here. Up here, I don't know if you've noticed, but one of these little strings over here has disappeared and that's because the bunny got a hold of the bottom part and chewed at it. So now this, this side over here is sagging a bit. Now we do want, like I said in the other video, we do want to update this soon and put posts up that are higher so that the string and the netting can go across. There's some metal netting that you can purchase at the tractor store, at the feed supply store that we're also looking into. Again, we just wanna make sure that it's budget friendly and we can slowly make these updates as our budget says, yeah, go ahead, do it. We don't wanna to spend too much too soon and we're figuring out the things that we do need versus the things that we don't need. What are the wants and what are the needs? What will make our life easier and what is just convenient? So we're figuring that out as well. Woke up this morning to this one limping around, just called the place. They said it sounds like there might be a vitamin deficiency and also to monitor the heat, make sure that they have a place to go to get cool because nowadays it's slowly starting to get hotter. And not only is it getting hotter, but the first week they need it, the temperature to be like at 95 degrees. The second week they need it to be around 90 degrees. And then this week they're gonna need it at a roughly around 85 80 to 85 degrees and then every week 
that they get older, the less heat that they're gonna need by five degrees. They're starting to get more and more feathers in, so the more feathers they have and less fluff, then the less heat they need. So we need to also monitor that. She also said that the starter grower crumbles need to be medicated, which it is. And again, I'm gonna be giving it a little vitamin real quick. I do have this that I just got for the pig. I'm not gonna use this because although it does say for poultry, it does not say for chicks. Today is a really foggy day and we have flowers popping up already. We even have some new flowers on the property that we haven't seen throughout the years. I'm about to dump the waste. These little white ones are popping up. These are new to the property. Get this far away from here. Berries pop up in April as well, and here are the little vines that they'll be popping out of. We will be turning all of this into compost eventually, so we're just gonna continue to pile this up. This is their waste, and we will be adding to it eventually. But this is our first dump. <laughs> He is just having a little temper tantrum in there. If you have any thoughts, any uh, kind words, kind helpful words, tips and tricks that you can let us know, please do that. Remember, we're new to this and we're taking you along for the ride and we're trying to learn and we're trying to teach you what we've learned so far, whether it's mistakes or not. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Toodles. He was throwing a tantrum and then he pooped himself out. Now he's all worn out and tired. Gonna take a nap. Just like a little baby.